Hello again, and welcome to another exciting edition of our Pathfinder Playtest PFS, as in Pathfinder Society, the Arc Lord's Envy for 5th level. Some pre-gens, some homebrew, some homemade, and the definite obviousness of how badly we have not properly learned these rules are exposed for your listening and, well, from episode 8 onward in our series, not just a podcast, a little bit of a raw video for you to watch to see the tactics, the happy maps, and, well, if you really want to see how the sausage is made, not as good music and certainly not as much editing, so we do hope that you enjoy the theater of the mind aspect, but for your YouTubers out there, go to our YouTube page at the Rollmongers Network and you will see some actual Roll20 video. You don't want to see our ugly mugs? No, you'll hear our happy voices bitching and complaining as you watch those raw dice rolls come at us. Gentlemen, setting the scene once again, a sniper appears. A female can't really see her clearly. The top edge of a domed building that dominates the top right corner of the map. The map being vertically rectangular. Definitely a, a female. A bat of, yes. Okay, good. Thank God. I was worried it was Jason Bourne for a second. No. No, no. A smattering of buildings down the right side of the map. A large pool, shallow, dominating its center lower half. More buildings across the top. Three separate combats. Our sniper seems to be engaging our wizard, who is engaging a single small elemental in the dead center of the map. To his left, sideways, let's go, shall we say west to the left, approximately 30-odd feet off the top side of a squee little building, we have why the mighty warrior squee flanking with Old Man Arif, a second elemental. 20 feet to the south, we have no idea. She is not, this pre-gen person has not even left the PC start area, which is clearly marked on the map. I don't know what's going on, failing lots of acrobatics, trying to get into the game. South of that, a few large tents, 15, 20 feet long, 10 feet wide. And in between the two, we have an Arl sandwich because he is flanked by two more small elementals and Kane, the arctic elven sorcerer who happened to be wandering by in this accursed heat and it's throwing in a little lightning making things excited for you gentlemen welcome to what i like to call round three of our combat scenario let's go to the map and don't forget you're in this land of next the city of quintium where people speak Katapesh, and you're in a city where racism is frowned upon and the mercantile and arcane classes rule. No, I, I just can to come up with an amazing plan. Can we lure these fire elementals out to the Quantinium Golems that smack me around like a little bitch? Come again? Well, the, the Golem that, you know, you know, I have went out and got smacked by. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we can involve them in any way, shape, or form, I have a feeling this combat's going to change direction real quick. The giant ones outside the city or the little one that's across town at the workshop? No, the giant ones. The ones that deal like 65 points of damage in a fl like a flick. Uh, well, yeah. if you want to run away from this map and flag them down, feel free. Run away! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not retreating. I'm getting reinforcements. It's totally brave. Uh -huh. You know where I'm going with this. Uh -huh. just, don't, just don't try to ride a horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't ride a horse there because there's no rules for oh, that. So, I mean, the salt. Uh, top of oh, the round. Just, just wait till I try to sneak attack something. You want to hear some salt? Uh -huh. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Master Arif, it is your turn. Maricel, you're on deck. Oh, not quite. You keep falling on your ass. Frank? Master Arif. All right. We call him yes. Master Arif because he is a sagely cloistered cleric of Phrasma and spent a long time, and I mean we have slapped him with age templates a long time in study, earning the rank of Master instead of Father. All right. So combat is really not my forte, so... You're um, doing better than most of these guys. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Yeah, that wall has to have taken some damage. Scree, uh, you there. <laughs> Small one. Uh, I I assume y you have this under control. I'm needed elsewhere, and I'm going to move back. So that's probably going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Nope. Not they if you just withdraw. Yeah. No, I'm not withdrawing. I'm just moving. Oh. 
and they don't have the ability to attack. <clears throat> oh, sweet. Not when I'm flanked because I'm flat footed. Um, yeah. All right. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Move right behind Abdima. And I will check it and see. I will stab him in the back. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, cast a healing spell five to eight plus four as long as he doesn't try to get out of the way. <laughs> so, what you just give him the thumb? You and, test and, me. And I'm a claim, priest. Claim, claim <laughs> maybe you should cough. It's closer to an artery. This is how Phrasma works. I'm running towards him, sword in one hand overhead, hand held out. Uh, you can you can trust me. The, the power of Phrasma <laughs> will, will make this, most of this most of this go away. It it, it may still oh. hurt after, but uh, trust me, it's 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 really all you, not me. Yeah. Okay. So that's what that's what he says, Jay. Ryan, can you give me the Family Guy voice? Because this is what you know, this is what uh, Jay probably hears. I just hold still for a minute, Jay. No reason we can't be reasonable adults here. Just take your pants off and take the popsicle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so let's ha- let's have a roll, Master Air. <laughs> Bad touch for twenty six right. points of love and healing. Twenty six points of healing. It's your fate, Grab. All right. Um, you have your damage down. You can bolster that if you choose, Jay, or resist. <laughs> this uh, is the bad touch. <laughs> I have you know, to be very distracted at the moment and not really know what happened. Just suddenly I feel so much better. If he came around earlier, you would have been bent over with your sword in the ground. Like he just would have exactly. been. Just... It, it would have been a very compromising position for one with a glowing hand to run up behind you. Just, just I just saying. love the sniper looking at Scrope going, what the hell are they doing down there? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> he just bends over when and, he's playing and, football. And I, and I look at him, you know, my hand kind of shaking. You know, I'm a little spent from that spell. Uh, uh, go that way, the archer, up there. Not not down here. Uh, that way. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> the old man cleric needs a nap. One spell, he's good. Okay, any other actions, Master Arif, before we get too uh, nope, far off that the rails? Was a, that was a move action, a spell one action, action, and that's it. I'm good. Okay. And then you use one more action just to pop out a chair from nowhere and just have a sit in the smoke. I'll hmm. spend an action to kind of ramble on. Well, in, in the treatise of Don Cortilius, it, it was a comment much like this in the town of Abdabar. <laughs> please tell me, you, please tell me you pull out some kind of reader's digest of Phrasma with diagrams of how to properly administer healing. And there's the what, one stick what? figure bent over, and the other one, you know, light a Phrasma in one uh, hand and uh, uh, p- grow one. Page one: the the best way to heal a fighter. From behind. <laughs> I think you should write that book. He's author of Fighting yeah. from Behind. A yeah, Cleric's that's Journey that's from Phrasma. That's the title. From, from, from Behind. Yeah. A successful handbook for a Phrasman healer. Yeah. <clears throat> the Gentle Hand. As, yeah, we could do another hour on this, but I, I'm going to save this man right. for your own show. I just, just start writing him down, buddy. Okay. I think he's more than done. His share, Marisol. Um, well, geez, I, I really got to do something. So I'm just going to get fed up with the wall. I'm done with the wall. I'm going to turn around. Ha ha. Draw my, um, my weapons, which I believe are a uh, rapier and a dagger. Let me mm-hmm. just check that. Yes. Yes. A rapier and a dagger. And that? I am going to what squeeze was the on deck. Thing? Q. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. So you push and hold Q and then move your character? Is that how it works? Uh, you can just tap it. Uh, As you cross the squares, yeah. Square, yeah. Yeah, okay. drag with the mouse, hit Q on every square you want to trail. I got it. Not like that. Give me your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Still hasn't left the PC square. And I move upon... He jumped. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, I was doing that. I was doing what you said. It showed the arrow on my screen. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. It is fine, because I'm going to attack. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ha ha. So, D20 plus 10 and D20 plus 9. You charge it? No, oh, you need a charging feat. Boy, the system is expensive. They charge you for everything. 16 for the first attack. Oh. Mm. Uh, 
22 for the second. The second one hits. Excellent. <laughs> um, oh, welcome to the combat. Yes. <laughs> Around four. Uh, Around three. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for leading them into a false sense of security. Maricel. 22 hits. Four. All right. Squee, you're on deck. Get ready. Switch to your sheet. <laughs> ready Finger on the trigger. Ah. For eight damage. I, I thought he was rolling the D4 of fate. It's like, oh, did you crit? Was that a crit? Oh, okay. Eight points? Yes, eight points of damage. All right. Excuse me while I slip this in. <laughs> this. <clears throat> Sorry. This is a fresh dude. Untouched until now. Healing, healing or otherwise. Squee, it is your turn. Arles, you are on deck. Please get ready. Finger on the trigger. Character sheet in front of you. We really need to tighten those pauses. Squee. All right. Swing bada bada. All right. Let's see what we can do. And any glorious comments? Not eating <laughs> apple today. No glorious comments today. No, nope. we, we're just playing with the real Joe. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to de- trying to keep up. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Did I yeah. just see something that looks like a neon d- green that you picked for <laughs> your thing, and it rolled a twenty? Yes, it did. Nice. And your name is Joe. Yes. There are certain listeners that are just freaking out right now, along with myself. They, the implications of this are just crazy. Oh yeah. Well, I'd tell you about it, but okay, not, right. not in the air. That's yeah. copyright. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to episode one or two, where your very first role in the very first podcast with your very yeah. first role mong exec was a natural one, and I made fun of yes, the fact your name was Joe, because there's another Joe from another podcast in another dimension called New York that uh, <clears throat> rolls ones. Yeah, They have a GM that brags about his neon green D20 and how well it does. Oh. And you picked a neon green color for your dice and it just rolled a 20. You see, it's just I'm just staggered with the implications if I wasn't paralyzed beyond rational thought. Wow. Okay. Awesome. I can't see my die for my damage. Natural 20 is critical damage. No. Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, I'm using a pick, so it goes to D D8. Oh, my. Okay. Sad, sadly enough, I can't see my own. Now, dice Jay on. added like two numbers together. Well, if you check the chat log, it'll give you your readout there. Jay, you had like a D something and we rolled a one and I added it to like the D other. Does a crit just up your damage or did you add them together? No, it's different for each weapon. Some weapons have different crit damages. Um, so saying, like, I just want to know how badly hurt my guy is because I took the first damage you've shown and I added the crit damage to it and took it off his hit points. So Was that wrong? Um, you what? So you have a vicious weapon, correct? Uh, military pick, I think so. Yeah, pick. yeah, yep. yeah. I, so, it switches to D8. I know that. Yeah, so it's the basically the crit, uh, the damage die switches to a D8. I think no. Yeah, because you do normal damage, but then you add an additional D8 onto that. Yeah, so you roll your normal and damage you also, and the D8. Okay. Yeah. You know, you roll your normal damage, double that as crit, and add your D8. I think. Yep, that's how. After. Okay. Oh, so I don't so think the two D. Gets so he's looking at what? Two D six or two D four? No, one D four is my normal damage for my pick, and then I get a D eight. Oh, okay, now is that size pick. down to a D six because he has a small vicious weapon? No, no. size has no difference in damage because nope. crit is so still a good vein. You do your regular crit damage, and because you have a vicious weapon, you add an additional D eight to it. Yeah, so yeah we've I'm established check that quickly though. So that would be D four times two plus your D eight. Now he just said it was crit damage, so isn't that two D four? Yes. Yes. So give us another D four. Okay. Sorry. I'll fake. No, it's fine. Chip, chip, chipping away here. We want to get this right. Chip, chip, chip chip away. So we're looking at five and three is eight, and one more D four. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah. You said you couldn't see your numbers. Do you have the die menu up? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I just didn't know what you meant by you couldn't see your numbers. It's because I have so much crap on my screen. Uh, <laughs> now like, you know why Jeff's got 900 monitors. In yes, his, uh, and I only have one 17-inch monitor in his pain, yes. I have one monitor that came brand new with my computer. I have a monitor my brother gave me. I have a crap monitor that I got for free from work. I have a small television I inherited from my late grandmother, and I have our old big television after my wife talked me into buying an even bigger one for... The living room. Yeah. Like up, I said, up on, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't realize that somebody asked exactly what you had, Jeff. <laughs> Sorry. Arles, <laughs> uh, we're skipping Kane. Adima, you're on deck. <laughs> <laughs> and I will swing again. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Squee must not be forgotten. <laughs> Just nope. kind of passed him over. <laughs> How are you rolling at a minus five? Oh, it's third because attack. second attack. Oh, sorry. Uh, we did that wrong. Oof. It's a fatal weapon, right? Uh, I think. Oh, I don't know. That's a... <sighs> okay, I've got the table open right here. It's okay. what weapon is it? It's a pick. A pick. Military pick. Oh, it's just pick in this one. Oh, okay. Uh, light pick is a fatal D8. So all your dice change to D8. You get your crit, then you add another D8. So it's three D8. Holy crap! Oh, damn. Okay, so he rolled 2d4. <laughs> just just right. give him another d8. No, no, no. Oh, give me 2d8, and I'll just take those crappy little numbers off, because they're all lined up here. I can see them plainly. Oh, okay. We're taking Good back time. four points of damage from crap d4 rolls. We're adding 2d8 now. Okay, hold on here. Let me just do it. So d8, two of them. Okay. And while he's rolling that, Arles, what's the plan, Stan? Stab, stab. And then we'll see how that goes. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> like the like the same damage. <laughs> no, no, no. Two more points came off my little dude. Okay. Yeah. Now we're getting into a second attack for Squee. Yeah. Is that possible? Do you, have, do you not have any static damage? Oh yeah. Do you not have a bonus? Your like a base attack bonus? Yes, I do. So we'll then add that to the rolls too, man. You've been missing out on that for all and of your strength yeah. damage. Yeah. That's sweet, sweet. sweet. And my, my strength damage is zero. <laughs> my, He's a little my, goblin. Uh, my my plus one pick. Yes, that's my extra plus one damage. Okay. You know, a base attack bonus that infects your damage as well. I don't. He's, he's, he's got uh, a no, D four plus two up right. here. So. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's the. Uh, remember to add your plus four, I guess, to your two D eight. Right. Right. So ten damage. All right. Well, I'm lost, and I'm the GM, and I'm supposed to know this thing. So, so moving on. Uh, now, second attack. Have you buggers been doing negative fives for your second attack? I have been. Have I taken a second attack? Negative five. You did. You ran up with yeah. a rapier and a dagger. Yeah, that was my first attack. So it does a... <laughs> a 14. Hit. You can, can do a two-weapon attack as a single we action? Over that. We went out over that, yeah. Oh, because you have feats for it, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Abilities. Right on. We went over that the, first day. The living room play test is a, is a land was, far, far the, away. That was the one thing that I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I will stay playing. Okay. Um, so your second attack, 17 minus 5 is 12, which is a miss. Uh, it's a total of 19, though. So Okay. That hits. Okay. And you so got your back to my normal. <laughs> you're back to your little... <laughs> my normal D4... Grumbling, the Feel old man the left pain. to do all the work. Oh, the old man called it. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, look at that. Not true for six. Ooh. Six. And I'm done. <laughs> I need to have a nap. <laughs> well, I, I can gladly I'm say hungry. that uh, you you and Adima have dealt the most damage to these little buggers. Arles. Yes. Kane, you're on deck. Arles, show me something. Stab, stab. Sticky, slash, sticky. Slash. That's it? Those are your abilities? Like this is chevron stab and double chevron no, I'm, slash? I'm, like, I'm, come I'm on. a paladin. I stab sinners and I heal those who are not sinners. Oh, okay. And right now there's no non-sinners that need that much healing. All right. Well, All right. other than myself. But <laughs> we'll so, see. stab away. Stab, stab. Um, in case you haven't figured out some of my actual direct questions to you aren't really to be answered they're more like stalling tactics so you can you know get on with the finger on the button attack one attack two 20 and nine first one hits all right does 20 damage Ooh. what are you wielding i'm wielding Faith. the light <laughs> he's wielding his face <laughs> Still here, big big glimmer of dimness in my form, but I'm still here. Glimmer of dimness, awesome. I will make a third <laughs> attack then. That's reverse glamour of 
15. <laughs> GM tiredness. Oh, God. Sorry? 15. Th- miss. Again, he's pulling some... <clears throat> he's a little dimmer. He's harder to see in this bright daylight sun. All right. Are you done, sir? Anything else? Um, can I get three more attacks? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Next round, maybe? Yeah. Come, back, come back on Tuesday. Kane. How about one, how about one more attack? No. Kane, you're up. Abdima, you're on deck. Okay. Uh, can I see the ranger from here? Uh, given the peak of the tent, it's probably not the first thing that would come to mind. Unless you're like looking all around for some frantic plan. I'll tell you what. If you actually want to burn actions for perception checks, go ahead. Okay, sure. Yeah, I will burn a single action for a perception check. There's a healthy fight going on right in front of you. You don't know who is friend. You don't know who is foe. You see foreigners like yourself attacking and beating on innocent native fire elementals. But that's not uh, your problem. 21 on perception. Okay, you become statistically aware of the battlefield. I'm not going to give you so much of what's going on with Arif and Adima because they are straight through the tent in a pile of crates. But you do see Squee whacking away at something glimmering off a corner there. You do see the proverbial, I don't say she has a scope, but you know. Yeah, the um, sniper. The, yeah, yeah, but see that lovely sort of pale jadish blue greenish dome? Someone's standing in front of it, leaning over, you know, that's kind of a... Okay. You know what I mean? Well, I, so I I do have line of sight to this kind of general area up here, right? Uh, it's, I still would give her some concealment and cover. Because specifically, they gave her abilities to like look down through concealment and cover into your areas. You know what I mean? So you don't see all of her, you just see a figure. You want to see clearly, you got to move. No, that's fine. Anyway, perception, one action. You got two left. You want to move yep. to a better position? Nah, okay. I'm good. Do you, I'm want risk, do you want to risk to... the shot from here and I'll just get some bonuses? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, I don't think you get bonuses from this. Um, but I'm going to cast Fireball. Oh, okay. First Fireball of the game, friends. Yes. <laughs> uh, 500 range. Uh, so she's definitely within range. I'm going to also, as a free action... Um, since I'm starting to cast a spell that has an area of a burst, cone, or line, and it doesn't have a duration, um, I am adding uh, five foot to the radius. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so 25 feet, and yeah, I'm going to blow it up on her. <laughs> and it does 8d6 damage plus three for spell level due to a feat that I have, which is called... Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, it's called Dangerous Sorcery, um, but yeah, uh, pretty much the the extra fuck you feat. Um, and reflex uh, save to take half damage. Okay. You guys see this? This nice big ball of fire I put up yes. there. Just... Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, if anybody didn't see the sniper, they're all looking that way right now. <laughs> The, they actually say it's a fiery little pea that streaks across the top of the tent, and he just using the dome as a backdrop. I'm assuming smacking that dome, and she just gets engulfed in flame. Yep. Uh, maximum or uh, 34 damage. That is a lot of red dice on my screen. I'm just gonna leave yes, them up there is. to emphasize. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Explosion. Let's start with my fire resistance. Do 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 do. You'd want to do your save first, right? Yep. You would think so, but let Jeff go the way he's going. I like this. <laughs> I don't. He's so what if he crit fails and he's supposed to get twice, but he ends up getting less? <clears throat> Fine. Reflex. What is the DC? Uh, DC 19. Oh, that's not so tough. No, it's not too, too bad. I'm a, I'm a uh, relatively, you know, capable yeah. character, compatible oh. with y'all. All nimbly bimbly up there at the dome. I'll put my charisma as high as I can. Reflex so. is my best. Yeah. Which I figured, but... 23. Oh. Okay. Beats it, but isn't a critical, so you only take half. Okay. It has some skills. So, half of 34 rounded down. Bit 15, carry the two, is 17 points. Minus my fire resistance, because if you had the time to 
perceive me in my odd bronzy skin color and flaming hair, you might discern that I could possibly be a little bit more than human. So 17, that's 12. Barely a scratch. Fa boom And you know what happens? You know what happens next? Caves in the dome. No. As the flame diminishes, you see a very pissed off sniper <laughs> looking around, <laughs> trying to figure out where that came from. Good. And anything else? Was that two actions for the fireball? Uh, that's three. One for the perception, two for the fireball. Okay. Thanks for coming out. Ouch. Yeah. Abdima, you are up. Bad guys are on deck. Okay. First things first. Swing, bada bada swing. Swinging at the fire elemental that is in front of me. Yes. Well, you are flanked by a gropey old man. I was going to assume they could go either way. <laughs> Roll the d4 of fate. <laughs> One to two. <laughs> it's the old man. Get off. 29. Me. Very nice. And damage? 12. I'm assuming 29 is not a crit. Actually, my AC of 18, it beats it by 10. Yay! With an additional 12, so another 24 points of damage, please. Nice. And Ooh. Abdima. Woof. And snuffs out the eternal little flame. Oh, I get to get home to my dimension. Thank you, but I hate you, but thank you. Poof. Gone. G GM gets okay. bonus points for that awesome snuffing sound effect. Thank you. And then I'm going to cast uh, quickly cast shield. <laughs> One for the elemental and two on the old man. Damn you. <laughs> I've cast shield and I'm going to move towards okay. the sniper. All right. Feel free. I'll let you sort that out. I have done so. The bad guy's turn. Oh, you know, you're coming right at me and I have running reload and you're a pretty target, but I am not staying up here and eating fireball after fireball from some crazy guy that's on the... No, I don't, I'm not even sure where she is. So for starters, I'm going to do what a professional hitman would do and move. So, ducking down, doing the ninja run. Blah, 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 blah. And what do I have to choose from? A whole bunch of diagonals. Shit. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. Or I think I can go this way. Five, ten, fifteen. Up on the lip. Twenty. Jump down with some acrobatics. Oh, can I jump? No, I can't. Uh... You can fall. No, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> She's actually gonna run along, like do the ten foot and then do the side leap, you know, carrying forward on this edge and try to cross that gap and end up here. Check this, your jump DCs first. Yeah, no, I'm going to say, like, this, this is this is going to be really, really ballsy, but let's just have a look at her, you know. <laughs> because in order for me to jump 10 feet to grab that ledge, I had to roll a natural 20, and I've got... But that's straight up. I'm, I'm just crossing straight. a five-foot gap. They're pretty much the same DC, dude. I was just reading it, but go ahead. This, this, I, I shouldn't complain. I shouldn't say anything, actually. Never mind. Five, 10, <laughs> 15, 20 to the edge, jump down. Oh, that might be different. With a light, with a light action. And then try to like scramble up the side of this wall. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, she she goes running off and disappears from everyone's view. So I'm going to put her on the gym layer. Uh -huh. And that's some movement. And now I'm going to start my rapid running reload. So I can move, I can reload while I'm doing this. And her third action is unbeknownst to us. The bad guys, well, there's one less flaming dude. So let's start by attacking the goblin. Oops, sorry. Ignore that. That's way too high a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was a raw roll. It was a raw song? roll. No, no, I'll take a raw roll. Four. That's fine. Way too high. Zero. 
<laughs> no, I, I thought Ooh. I was doing her bonus, but I, I didn't realize it was a raw dice roll. So the little dude attacks with a plus four and not enough to get, you know, nine. It's like, yeah. So just to be fair. That's fine. Uh, the that guy left of fail, Arles. Right? Is that a crit fail? What? A nine for an attack? Is that not a crit fail? No, no, no. You guys were like, oh, it was like you were the one defending skill checks of negative 10. I was like, oh, everyone that got eight or lower are all crit fails. And you guys were like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's it only a crit fail if you roll a natural one. Otherwise, it's just a straight up fail. We were talking about oh, acrobatic okay. checks plus ten minus ten, like skill. Yeah, yeah. Skill things, right? Well, you've got crit. You've got crit successes plus ten for attacks. I figured you would have a crit fail for minus ten. Oh, that's true. Well, the they good thing about this log crit. here is we can go back and have you guys spilling your crit guts all over the place with fails. I already, I already crit failed. Yeah, I know. Saving me. I know. That's all right. We'll just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Anyway, second roll on Arles. Or sorry, second dude, first roll on Arles is a 26. Yes. Your little wiener opponent, Maricel, turns towards you with another <gasps> 4 plus 9 is 13. And she deftly skips out of the way. I'm assuming a 13 also did not hit Squee earlier. No. Okay. Because um, it's not the 4 natural roll, it's the plus 9. A 13 is not 10 below the earlier, Jay, so we're, we're good. Yep. Okay, so, and I'm done with baddies, and I only have a possible hit on Arles. 26, does that hit you, sir? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm sorry to say, you're in my way, and my nope. tendril. Now, Stop swinging your tendril around, Jack. Let's talk about 1d8 plus 4 fire damage plus 1d4 persistent fire damage that everyone's suffering because we've clocked a couple rounds. And in the heat of battle going by so quickly have, you know, only become aware that as this thing attacks you, when you're attacking back, the part of your bodies are on fire. Whoops, that's a d20. That is not the d I wanted. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> d20 damage of fire. What? Sorry. <laughs> Terror, terribly sorry. What? Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, you better leave that one in the podcast. Arles, <laughs> Arles takes a maximum of 8 plus 4 damage. <clears throat> okay? So that's 12 points that's to Arles. That's maximum he rolled max damage. Yes. Oh, there's more. Now, Arles has been hit before. No. Yes. No. By a 20, you said your shield wasn't up and you, you took damage before. I talked to Iomede and she said no. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, you're leaving me. Yeah, you're fucking with a god now. <laughs> I, I believe you've taken a, a hit or two previously. Or two, one or two. Yeah. Possibly. Or zero. Are you going to retroactively give us persistent damage that we didn't get a chance to, tango, to turn off? Yes. Kind of sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've let you guys retcon all kinds of stuff for yourselves. I go, trust me, if any of you guys, oh, what's, what's that damage, Joe? Well, we'll, well turn those D6s like... into D8s. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, I know. So, are, are, so are you just automatically on fire if they hit you? It says 1D8 plus 4 fire damage plus 1D4 persistent fire. Yep, that's that's automatic. So if you guys want to remove all the damage you did to us to do little tap dances and roll around the ground, or do you want to just take the damage and leave things as they are? Take it, the damage. It is a le learn as we go, gentlemen. Sorry, I thought you were saying it's like one d four worth, like one d eight worth of persistent damage. That well, would be. Arles just took two d four because he's been on fire for two rounds, and the only other person that's taken a hit is you. And I'm going to give you yep. a d four. So Arles takes an additional six points of damage and realizes he's on fire. I got this. Jay takes one point of damage and realizes he's on fire. Because you can catch fire before it really starts to burn. It's a couple seconds apart. Anyway, I was trying to use dramatic tension. I've been hit. And <laughs> old man Iruf, thank you for being honest. Three points of fire damage. Round four. Jeez, we're on fire. We've stopped running around. You know, not all of us are engaging. How do we put out the fire? Is it the standard reflex 15? Or just a full round action to put yourself out? Which I'm assuming in this case would be spending two actions of your three just to douse the flames for free. Nope, it's heal. one action taking a DC 15. Okay, there you go. Master Unless Arif. it's specifically a higher DC. Yep. No, no, it's probably just it's just persistent fire, which is like regular fire. That's fine. Oh, there is something I did forget. 
When a fire elemental dies, it explodes, dealing 2d6 fire damage to all creatures within a 5 foot radius. DC reflex 16. Save for half, double damage on a critical failure. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the only person within 5 feet would have been Jay. So. 13. What for the reflect? Uh, okay, I was gonna bot I was gonna be nice and botch it going. See, there was other things I forget that won't retcon. But hey, if you've got that dice out, why not? Let's kill you all. Eight points of exploding fiery damage. Eight more. That's okay. Yep. We're, we're we're high level. We're good. Because <clears throat> we want to experience every little thing this module <laughs> adventure has to offer. Arif, one action to put out the flames. DC <clears throat> of fifteen reflex or. You can just take damage well, and do three what, actions. What, what you, you know, I may be old, but I'm not a pussy. Well, there's like <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. There's like an 80 foot by 100 foot pool, 20 feet away from everybody. <laughs> Maybe I, that's I am, why. I'm moving kind of towards the pool. Yeah. Kind of? So I, so I move that way, and then through the foliage, do I see said Ninja Ranger? Oh, at the top of the stairwell? Yeah. Um, no. An action perception to regain sight? No. Uh, because I'm not actively hiding, I'm like literally trying to do something in the open, like climb up this wall. Yes, I'll say yes. Okay, sweet. Then I'm going to use a domain power. And let's have While a While on fire, one. I definitely want some kind of... Um, uh, what do you call it? I'm, I'm going to try. I've, I've said earlier, I'm not a pussy, and I, I, I have to back that up. <laughs> it's, it's only reached my knees. I'm not completely engulfed. Yeah, just, <laughs> just part of me is on fire. I should be fine. Not the important part. It, it reminds me back to Well, time, taking or... persistent damage and casting a spell, that's got to be some kind of concentration check in this rule set. That is concentration Well, check. well yeah. if you can't find the rule, then it doesn't apply. Yes. That's why I have a rule. Quote <laughs> <laughs> well, the code or it doesn't exist. So. Well, you're looking shit up. That's I will right. cast a spell. Well done, Frank. Go All ahead. right. So uh, let's see here. What is the check? I'm assuming we're going to go with 10 plus the damage you just took, which was three. Yeah. And the spell level doubled. So what kind of domain are you using? It's a third level spell. So that would be 16 plus it's like 19. Okay. And now that's the old rules. New <clears throat> rules. Uh, coming up. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I just don't know what to roll. <laughs> oh, your concentration check? Yeah, new yeah. rules are a beat a D. I believe that's five. about right. But what you would be wanting to roll is your, um, your, like, your spell casting proficiency. So that would be... Your proficiency bonus, which should be plus five, plus your um, wisdom bonus for your cleric. Yeah, for your wisdom. So your level, it's like your personal yeah. DC. So, well, sh well, shit. That'd be like plus nine, right? <laughs> Four yeah, for the wisdom, you know, like, five for the basically, level. Basically 50 50 chance. And if we know me and we know roll 20. He's looking for a 10 or higher, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I mean, 50 50 is what Pathfinder wanted. It's actually a 45 55 because that 10 still is a success, Frank. Hey, yeah, let's try it. Twenty-one. Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> new, new. I'm, I'm liking Pathfinder too. He, <laughs> he really runs, liking. ladies and gentlemen, straight across behind the foliage. Uh, does, extinguish me. Wait, wrong movie. Does a, does a, <laughs> cut, tuck, and roll, and comes up extinguished. You know, no, actually, no. He's still on fire. He's just sucking it. Still up. on fire. No, he's um, still on fire. Brandishing my holy symbol of phrasma, I pointed down the hallway. Well, that's intimidating. Isn't it though? <laughs> His feet are on begins, fire. Maybe the guy doesn't agree with glow. your service. I channel the power of like the fire that's on me, and the sun kind of reflects off of it a certain way. Oh, and wow. a fire and a fireball erupts in that small courtyard. Holy crap. It's important <laughs> to remember that also his patron is the goddess of death, fate and death, and it's like even the afraid is going seriously. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had this conversation with Verasma. I'm not dying today. She said If so. you find yourself on fire in a courtyard near oh. a pool near three palm trees on your northwest now, corner. 
Erasmus says I'm good. He's middle-ish <laughs> of the map, ladies and gentlemen. He's shooting underneath a palm tree, 55 feet. Now, at the 50, 45 foot mark, there's a stairwell going up, and these two buildings are sandwiching the stairwell, so it's very tight space. At the top, the left wall continues behind me five feet, and the right opens up on a diagonal, but it's still considered very tight quarters. And I will give her a penalty to her reflex because she's got fuck all where to go. <laughs> <laughs> It's I like get, a lizard in a glass aquarium. Yeah, I do I do not have 360 dodgeability. I have 60 degrees, so I will give her negative three to her reflex save. Well, one, that, that, one for every quarter. Because I am a benevolent DM, and Jay took his exploding damage like a champ. So, like <laughs> a champ. All like right, so a um, reflex save, DC 18. Okay. Or I used to have a plus 12, just to be transparent, but only for second edition. And now I have a plus 9 because I have a 3 penalty. 1827. Oh, seriously? I get my half damage, please. That sounds like a, uh, is that not a crit success? Or? No, no, 18 was the... Okay, yeah, good. Never mind. Yep, so 27 points divided by 2. What is that? Uh, oh, no, no, it's 27 for my success of a... You need to roll damage. I rolled the same damage. damage. Oh, I didn't see those D6s go up. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so 13 points. Wait, hold up. Uh, was that Fireball? Yeah. 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 Uh, I believe... Uh, yes, initial damage should be 8D6. Uh, yeah. Not, not for me. Five five d six. It I believe that's just a holdover from old writing. It should still be eight d six. Yes. I'm I'm looking at the. Uh, what happened to d six a level? Why well, you guys are only I, fifth level? Oh, it, it was that's from small. the uh, they, update they one point five. Yeah, they've boosted. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. So eight d six then. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you see how I can't well, actually package this fire twenty foot fireball? It's only like ten feet, and it goes this way, <laughs> concentrating its effect. Yes. So half of thirty seven. All right, and I'm caught up a wall. Negative four, 26, still good enough, sorry. Half of 30, sorry, half of 37? Half of 37. Oh, damn. Okay, well, that's <laughs> 15, rounding down is like 18. Yeah. 18 points. And my resistance, bringing it down to that. And, okay, still good. <clears throat> Get, we're, getting we're, pissier. Good. Totally got this. I'm getting mad. Second fireball in as many rounds. I'm getting mad. Oh, you know what? That's what I thought we were both going to get them off in the same round in the same spot. I'm like, I oh, almost forgot. I know. <laughs> Coolest when thing about this character is that they have the personality and they also have that, you know, when they get down to a certain hit point, they go, it ain't worth the money. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't have to kill her. You just got to, well, shoo her. We, we well, have to well, half kill her. Well, right now, she's just getting really mad, and I have lots of hit points, and yeah. No more Mister Mrs. Nice Sniper, I'll tell you that. Master Arif, I believe you had one action left, no? No. Uh, no. No, okay. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Thank you, thank go, you. Go, go, go. Thank you, Jay, for yep. boosting that died damage. Yep, yep. Um, what do you mean, Jay? King, yeah. King, King, goes or, sorry. <laughs> King goes stalking off because you upped his fireball. It's okay, <laughs> young man, we don't need you here. This is how it's done. <laughs> Jay, Jay confirmed it. He seconded the motion. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he deserves some um, credit. Bro. Jeff, is it okay if I go next? Because I got to go. Jump the line? Tell me what you plan to do. I plan to just run after this thing. I can't catch up to her, though. But Okay, and do what? I'm my best. Uh, I would like to catch her and like bring her back to the group for interrogation. But okay. we'll see. All right. I can handle that. In that case, I'm going to head out. Good night, night sir. Cheerio, bud. Good Cheers. Night. Cheerio. Tut, tut. All that nonsense. That's all right. Ciao for now. We'll, we'll fi finish the round. And... <laughs> but haberdashery. That That's right. Good. And mm -hmm. Abdima just runs off. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not paid enough for this. He was, he was a part-time Pathfinder. He was like supposed to read books and stuff. I'll be back later. Be back with the... <laughs> I have an idea. He just runs Thank into you. The Come again. I have an idea. I will defend the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Too many fireballs going off. Maricel, you're up. Squee, you're on deck. All right. All right. All right. I am going to attack with my 
rapier. For my first action. Oops. Damn it, wrong dice. What a fucking good roll, too. I, can I take that? <laughs> I hold this. There you go. That's still pretty good. 29 oh, to hit. Right, it is. 29 to hit. Is, is, is it a good hit? Did I hit him? <laughs> sure. Is that not a critical? Sure, and I'll give it no, to you. No, it was a 19. Oh, oh, I've got crit range. That yeah. is the critical. Oh, yeah. Critical threat? No, it's not. What? No? no. Critical threat. No, it's not. Oh. It's just, it's just, I, I just hit him really good for 2d6 plus 4 piercing damage. Eh, roll. Do it. Do the thing. Nine damage for my first attack. And then do it again. And then I'm gonna uh, throw my dagger at it, because why not? <clears throat> uh, crap, this is the, I should really take some time and program this dude in. Uh, Just in time for the end of the series. <laughs> plus five, <laughs> or four, plus four. Ha, throwing my dagger, ha 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 ha, ha, for a seven. Seven face. I miss. Okay, and so now that that hand's empty, I will draw my sap, and that's the end of my turn. Okay, so total <laughs> damage? Of uh, nine. All right. From both hits? Oh, the other hit didn't hit, I'm sure, with a seven. Well, I've got a... T no, the before, you got the 10 and 10 was 20. And then you got a 29. No. no, no, okay. No, I didn't do that. I just rolled again. It's fine. Either way, it worked out the same. Um, okay. So I just, it was just a single attack. I didn't, I didn't go ha ha. I just went ha. And then I threw my dagger. <laughs> and then I drew my staff. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't go ha ha. I went ha. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no I, was like, I went kip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. Right. All right. <clears throat> no problem. Nothing to see here. No. Lim Lamory. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Uh. <clears throat> Maricel's done. Yep. Squee is going now. Arles, you are on deck. Squee. Yay. Kill Squee. Kill. Attack. <laughs> Attack till dead. Yeah. He's coaching himself. <laughs> <laughs> Attack. Attack. Still moving. Must not be moving. Uh, 21 total. Hit. <clears throat> I guess I should add in everything. But... Just like, see him going sideways with this pick and like trying to impale it into the wall. Just <laughs> the, the little <clears throat> clay wall going on here. Or be whopping three. Okay, well, hey, everybody, every little bit helps. Don't. Uh, uh, why not? Let's, let's attack again. I imagine kneecapping is like, is like a focus of goblin war training. <laughs> <laughs> what? They just don't teach any of their warriors any uh, <sighs> biology of the misses. waistline. Kneecap <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> weak. <laughs> All right. Not doing bad. Chipping, chip, chipping away. Squee. A seven would miss. I know that. Yes. So. Anything else? No, that's good enough for now. Okay. I spit at him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, oh, you notice your, your water does <laughs> one half point of non-lethal damage. <laughs> it doesn't seem to like the water at all. <laughs> Well, in that case, zip. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it. I thought it. Seriously, there's a... And I <clears throat> said it. For the <laughs> third or fourth time, there's a giant body of water on the map, and you guys are like, how will we do with this fire? With more fire. Our fire's bigger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it's worked so far. It has. It has. I just, it I just has found to point that out because it's funny. Arles, <laughs> what do you got for me? Kane, you're I on deck. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bear hug the fire and then bring it to the water. Ooh. No. Um, Ooh, my. <laughs> Ooh, my. <laughs> if I was a barbarian, I would totally do that. It's I'm a not. brilliant idea, but don't. No. no. <laughs> Can't you just, like, go to the pond and let's knee deep and, like, playfully splash out of there or something? <laughs> make, make, like, the hand squirt gun. Yeah. <laughs> Good five foot step down on my. 
Come no, because I, I, yeah, unfortunately, I took no feats in that, so. St- what, collecting change in a pond? In Stand- deep- standing in neat deep water? No, Fra- Frank knows the feet. We were both looking at it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what what do you do? A little closer to the mic, please. Stab. I'm sorry I asked. Very well. Stab right. away. Maybe stab, stab. Ooh. Change it up. Stab slash stab. Let's have it. Kane, you're on deck. Well, he's rolling, and we're watching the stabs in the theater of the mind. Kane, what do you have planned for us? Uh, a lot of movement. Okay. Stab one. Call it out. I have to tab back. 16. That's a miss. Sorry, it is. No, it's okay. I, I got this. Stab two. Okay. Ooh. 24. 15 damage. Ouch. Does anything happen? He explodes! Because I remembered this time. <laughs> yeah, you killed it! Congratulations! <laughs> All on your fa boom. Everything within five foot radius, which is only you, takes two d6 exploding damage. Reflex, please. Um. Not the face. Reflex. Not the face. Not the face. That's the money maker. Reflex saving of fifteen. We explode with a d6. Oh, sorry, a DC 16 reflex, sorry. Hmm. Terribly sorry. Can my lady help me at all? Ooh. 10 points. She's going to feel yeah. bad for you as you take 10 points of fire you know, damage. I, I assist other with a reflex check? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get down. That's called a push down. Kaboom. 10 points. Arles, how you doing, buddy? I got this. What are you at? I'm at enough. Just be standing on my own. I'm just curious, you know, for the drama tension. Uh, 27. Out of? 70. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, you're a tank, dude. You're fine. Yeah. No, I totally got this. Yeah. It's just a flesh wound. <clears throat> so I got one action left. I turn around to that little... There's another one right behind me. Yep. Yep. It's the same. Like, it looks the same, right? Yeah, yeah. I just use a different mini, but yeah. Okay. It's not a little dude on fire. It's All right, just yeah. a fire dude. Yeah, I'm playing, you know, like, hey. <laughs> just, just, not, not like some midget that was set aflame and then sent. I, I want to hit the little dude on fire, and Maricel's correcting you. No, it's a fire dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, uh, attack of 14. No, but, sorry. Yeah. But good try, Tremblin. All right, you're done, sir? Yes. Kane, what have you got for us? Abdima's on deck, and we do know that he's going to try and run her down. Uh, can I use all three of my actions as movement? Yep. Yes, you can. It's called running. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a light <That's>... jog. <laughs> Man, it's what that's... wizards do best. What, rim, what rim is this running? Like... I'm a sorcerer, goddammit. If, if you actually get past Squee and head further north, it's called running away. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so I will... Call to the better part of Valor. Nope, Don't he goes He goes there. north, turns a 45-degree angle at tent, goes south through the PC start here square, and is right back where we all started. <laughs> oh, now he's he's sprinting across, ladies and gentlemen. I actually want to do, like, two bards up in a tower, just like, instead of actually us playing the fight, just have two guys doing commentary. Commentary yeah, on it. It's just like, and he's, so, who's this, a newcomer from the sidelines? Maybe that's where that first fireball came from there, you know. Um, Angelus, there you go, from Taldor. Spins the chamber, puts the one to his head. <laughs> that's the most movement I've seen the entire game everyone just kind of like stepped up 20 feet because you guys are surrounded like he's, he's just trucking it well it, it's one of those I took uh, a uh, ancestry feat uh, called nib- nimble which gives me plus 5 to my movement speed and I took a skill feat called fleet he ran so five. fast he didn't even realize he left the arctic zone he's in the desert he's so lost alright <laughs> pretty um, much yeah. Three, three actions and you're done, sir? Yep. Okay. A complete stranger, not part of your party, <laughs> comes running up in Hi. front of you, Arif. <laughs> I have no idea what this guy is just running in. You know, uh, some oh, random elf. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hello there. Uh, uh, don't go up the stairs. <laughs> Do you need healing? 5, 15, 20, 30. Anyway, uh, a double move and is trying to get 
right to her. Which he actually does. Oh! Oh, that's going to make things very unfortunate for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and now I it's won't Ar say who. It's now it's Argo. Well, let me double check the movement here. Um, where was he? Right here? No. Yep. Here? Right back there. One. Back he's, one. No, he's back right there. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> first square is five. Second square is ten. That's fifteen. Twenty for the third and then he's got a straight one that's 20 he ends his movement at the bottom of the stairs that's 30 that's one action he's right. got two left and if yeah. i know jay he would cast a spell but he didn't he said i actually want to try and grab her so second move he's going to climb stairs only 10 feet of them so even if that's harsh movement he's right in front of her and as his last action he's going to attempt a grab does he have a spell that incapacitates or something like that? That would no, be more he, he wanted. To, he was talking about capturing and stuff. So rolling yeah, a raw I... eight and giving his bonus as a wizard. What's your base tack there, Kane? We'll use you. Uh, plus fifteen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but of course. Oh, it might be four. Well, he did branch off into fighter. Four. Anyway, oh, he did. He did branch off. Yeah. Maybe he started so probably fighter. higher. If he started as a fire hit, it would be higher. Oh, wait a minute. He's got a character sheet in here, does he? Yeah. Look, yeah. We're taking guesses. It's like, maybe we should look at the character sheet. The the one guy took time to fill oh, out. Oh, stop. <laughs> that makes way too much sense. Strength of 18. Holy crap. Oh, Holy shit. shit. It's a plus four. So where's his base attack? Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Jeez. Background blacksmith. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> one level boost five level boost but where's his um um <clears throat> oh okay so he's got like plus 10 on attacks all right so an 18 to grab this chick whose armor class is probably like i'm a named character yeah like my nope. ac's like hmm? now is she still trying to climb and is that a penalty uh i hit a fireball on a wall it's not my turn. Technically, I'm still kind of there. Anyway, AC 20, tack AC, because all he has to do is grab her, right? He doesn't have to hurt her, is 18. So Jay runs up and grabs this chick, still on the wall. <laughs> Initiates a grapple, because I don't think there's grappling in this game, is there? Uh, there's a combat grab. Oh. It's a, it's a fighter. Oh. Well, Dakota, if you don't have combat grab, you cannot initiate the grapple, says J to J. <laughs> <laughs> so he just runs up and kind of well no they they actually did address the whole grappling thing uh i don't remember the details but i remember reading a specific thing saying we were sick and tired of people being confused by grapple so we simplified it it is very simplified i just gotta find it again yeah okay because otherwise he's just gonna punch her yeah, <laughs> get off the wall <laughs> oh you can charge upstairs maybe he just rushes her because she wasn't very far up said wall Charging tackle. Ha ha! Oh no, I had my third <laughs> movement, right? And I can climb. Yeah. I can climb uh, one quarter of my movement speed in climbing. Beat her to the top. Climb to me! <laughs> Which is, no, it's only like really five feet. Okay, my speed isn't that great. Okay. So. Anyway, I'm going to deal, well, he's looking that up. I'm going to deal with the remaining um, little nasties because it's our, you know, it's bad guy's turn now. So let Joe just let me know when you get that up. And, no, I'm just reading it right now. Yep. So. Thank you for helping the DM. Well, the DM continues the action part. See, this is why I have helpful ruler so that you don't have to wait for the DM to look up everything during a play test. 1D 20 plus 9, a 16 on the dice, 25. And this one was consistently attacking Meryl, the newcomer, so I'm going to throw it that way. <clears throat> 25, Mr. Matt, Miss Marisol. That is a hit. That is a hit. Well, let's talk about consistent fire damage on our turn, because we forgot to do it on Arl's turn, because he took no actions to put said fire out. Mm. So there's another d4 of Bernie Burn for our paladin. Take one point, please. And now I have to start remembering persistent fire damage, which is going to come to you later. Squee hasn't taken a single hit yet, have you? No, I have not. <laughs> the mighty squeak. <laughs> Only the goblin was left standing. Yeah. 
finally in this encounter i like this character i think we should put him in first edition with his next show <laughs> just like the squee the mighty all right um and then okay for your grapple one second uh i rolled a three against squee with a 12 is a miss and then the girl's gonna do something in a minute okay so abdima yep oh oh god i just lost it okay for your lovely little grapple that you want to do mm-hmm and it's pretty much the same as previous editions, except, ready for this? You can attempt to grab an opponent. Grappling requires you to roll an athletics check against the opponent's fortitude DC. That's it. Simplified. Very simplified. If you have it, you have it. Oh, that's right. We couldn't figure out what the fortitude DC was. Because it, is it your level plus your fortitude? Or just, it wasn't just the raw roll. It's fortitude safe. It's just a, a plain fortitude, fortitude DC. Yeah, but I read this thing about your actual personal DC is your level. Yep. Because otherwise, like Bob the Wizard with a fortitude of plus two would just be mowed like consistently, even at high level. Hmm. So you've got to at least add your level. So anyway, she's creature five, fortitude of nine. So that's like 14. That's even worse than my AC. Yeah, Any, which, anyway. makes, which makes sense. Yeah, but like my, tac, my touch AC is still 18. So anyway, if it's 10, it's 19 and he misses. If okay. it's tack, it's by one. So um, we'll go with miss then. Yeah, I was going to say, benefit of <laughs> the doubt since he's not here to, like, you know... All right, so close, but it's hot, you know, hampering. Um, anyway. Okay. And it's her go. Anyway, so he runs up and uh, does get a successful touch AC. But he doesn't have a touch weapon. He'd have to hit the 20. So I'm going to say he grabs her. Not grapples. Oh, you know, you need a combat grab for one leg. Anyway, he's up there. He's harrying her. You know, yeah. she's trying to get away. So, escaping a grapple or crappily, you know. Well, that's it's grapple is based off of the fort fortitude DC, and then to escape it is using escape artist, or sorry, using the whatever feet. Oh, his athletics is only seven. His acrobatics. There we go. Skills, that's a miss. Yeah. His athletics is seven, not the combat ten we were using. So that's much lower. That's the only way for, for who? For Jay, because he had to make an athletics no, this, check. That's that's not no. No, I'm just saying for the like. It was kind of cheesy to just say he missed when it was by one, but I'm looking at his athletics now, and it's not a combat of plus ten. It's an athletics of plus seven, which oh, would drop right. his hit to a fifteen. So we're gonna say no, with confidence. Okay. Now. So then the rest of the point is moot, but let's talk about the rules because this is a play test. Yeah. Uh, so okay. but what, what he was saying was um, with her, attempt, if she had been grappled, if she wanted to attempt an escape, she would have to do an acrobatics check for escape artist yeah. to get out. Gotcha. Yeah, you can either escape using acrobatics or break the grapple with athletics. Athletics, yeah. And if you fail, you're stuck until next turn okay crossbow ace when she uses her hunt target or interact action to reload her crossbow Kima's next strike with that crossbow before the end of her next turn is against her hunted target she adds one to her damage and increases the damage dice to d10s Ooh. yeah that's dirty so Ooh. i i would have i would have i would have been rolling d10s instead of d8s against edema but i'm not gonna retcon that that's crazy <clears throat> my bad anyway lots of neat stuff um so anyway i'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm on a wall i'm gonna drop down as an action i'm gonna use my frit innate spell of burning hands and show him fire up close and personal. It says third burning hands, as in like a third level burning hands, which I'm assuming is like 3d4. Uh, no, because based on the spell and what level you choose as does a lot more damage. Third. Uh, okay, so base burning hands is 3d6. Well, and it, says, then... it says third burning hands, so I'm assuming I, I'm a third level really... caster. Uh, yeah, which means that it should be heightened since it's a first level. 
I believe Burning Hands when Heightened gets an extra D6. On okay, it. but what if you're a third level caster casting a basic Burning Hands? Is it like 3D6 plus 3? Because that's, that's what I think they're going for here. It's just talking about like a caster. I'm a fifth level creature, but I'm a frit and it says third Burning Hands, which I'm assuming is kind of like a caster level. One. This is an eight, innate ability. Like, there's no way I'm heightening this. That would be crazy. Well, uh, I don't know if it's innate. I know powers automatically get heightened. I'm not sure about innate abilities getting heightened. Ifrit, it says Ifrit innate spells. DC 19, third burning hands. Okay. One and second. It, and it's like, <laughs> it's like a, a one chevron. It talks about a range with my crossbow. And then it yeah, talks about, yeah, yeah. So sounds, anyway, this is what, I'm going to burn him in the face. Whoosh. So the base is 3d6, right? Yeah, 3d6. Okay. Um, well, the, the base is 2d6 for Burning Hands, at least they changed it. Yeah, uh, they changed it 1.5. Okay. Ah, look at that. 11 points. And because I have the character sheet. Doo -doo. He has currently... 44 out of 53 hit points and he's going to bitch that we changed the sheet <laughs> but he just ate 11 points so he's down to 33 you would be like why is that <laughs> what's going on here well, you played through <laughs> foolish to tell the DM your last action instead of just running away I'm going to keep playing them all right um, and that's a single action or sorry so I dropped down for an action uh, with a base of left, check, check of, of easiness, that's fine. Uh, burning hands in the face. And then I back off. Five. Now there's attack of opportunity. I just run away, right? I believe so. If I just uh, suddenly yeah, bail. Or attack of opportunity. What's that, Ryan? Come in closer. If you have the feet for attack of opportunity. Oh, I see. Doubtfully does. So I bail. Five. I hop this wall. <laughs> fall down. Eee. Down. So there's five. Descend, let's say, ten feet. And try to, like, re you know, athletics it. Um, and that counts as ten. And then it's fifteen. Twenty. So I'm going to disappear where only a demon saw me hop over the wall. And I need to do an athletics check. Very good. And I think I'm gold. I might even take, I might have even take some damage. Ooh, a little bit on the way down, just so people aren't screaming at me. I can take it. Uh, so I have the rules for innate spells right now. Okay, let's have it. Good luck. Um, okay, so big thing here is you can't heighten innate spells but for some abilities that grant innate spells might give you the spell at a higher level than its base or occasionally change the level at which you cast the spell um cantrips are automatically heightened with your level um and the spell level is half your level rounded up so okay so if it says burning hands third then i would assume it's casting it from a third level slot okay so um, how much damage is that that is an extra 4d6. Oh, you know what? We never gave him a reflex for the 11 points. I just rolled them in his face and he ate it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, and another 4d6 on top of the 3d I rolled? Yeah, because uh, base is 3d, and then each time you heighten it, it gets an extra 2d6. Well, this is totally down for me. I'm assuming I can know this one. So that's a total of 23 because I had just added 13 points of damage. And my man, Adima here, would have gotten... This is worth retconning his um, his saving throw, where he's got a reflex of nine. I am not taking responsibility. Somebody else can be bitched at. Anyone wants to roll d20? <laughs> uh, I'll roll for him. I'll go, do it. Go go ahead. D20 plus nine? Yep. All right, Jay, this one's for you, buddy. DC is 19, man. All he needs is a 10. And it's a Boom. 10! Oh, it's a 10 barely so he just he just kind of like cocks his head to the side <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna do at that range okay, however so half, of the 12. half of the 23 um 
basically he's got because I gave him 11 already um, rounded down is 22 is well 11 which is what we gave him so nothing changed except from some extra dice rolling so there we go Jay if you're listening yay rules round yay. 5 next time because we're another full hour of video combat and gentlemen what 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 you should have won by now what's going on sing the song we, we well, did I spent win. the first five rounds smashing my face against a wall <laughs> <laughs>